Hey, welcome to Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Jim Hollywood Holly, Jason Wygant here in, yes, sunny Seattle, Washington. There is going to be a change in the schedule today in anticipation of rain because, hey, with Seattle, you never know. But so far, actually, it looks pretty nice, Jim. But they will revise the schedule just in case. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm not sure if this wind's a good thing, if it's blowing it in or blowing it out at this point. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of a revised schedule. These guys are used to it at Feld Motorsports, you know, with the rain races we've had at Anaheim and San Francisco. They're not taking any chances. The track's covered, and uh, they'll uncover it about 2.15, do a track walk at 3.15, and a couple shortened practices, and away we go here tonight. And some history here for Ryan Dungey, who basically has this championship wrapped up, will officially have it wrapped up if he gets basically in the top five tonight. He'll score enough points to officially be handed of that number one play tonight. I've said the word official as many times as possible, but there's a reason. He basically is the champ already because we know Ryan Villapoto will not be back. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, Ryan Villapoto breaking his tib fib last week, and this was supposed to be Seattle's homecoming race. He was supposed yep. to win last week, get three more points. He was supposed to come into Seattle here, three rounds to go, only nine points behind the championship, but it all uh, took a turn for the worse last weekend in St. Louis uh, with him uh, breaking his tib fib. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a while since we've had a rookie win the uh, Supercross championship. You got to go back 16 years to Jeremy McGrath in 1993 when he did it. Ryan Dungey will be the second rookie in history to have done that. And like you said, Jason, uh, the man who sits third in the points, that's Josh Hill, also from the Pacific Northwest. He's 77 points behind Dungey. So mathematically, he's out. And uh, if Villapoto doesn't show up, it's Dungey's. Now, let's talk about the Dungey strategy. Now, he no longer has to win the races. I'm going to assume he might even adjust his riding schedule during the week to maybe focus a little more on outdoors. And there's some guys that really want wins this year, like Kevin Windham, Andrew Short, uh, Justin Brayton. We're waiting to get on that podium. Do you think the door might be open now that Dungey doesn't need to win? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. I mean, you know, because Dungey saw exactly what happened to Villapoto pushing for a championship. And, you know, Villapoto is, is not even going to be able to start the outdoors. And Dungey wants to start the outdoors healthy. He's already wrapped up this championship. And as you mentioned, Kevin Windham's had a couple podiums these last couple races and those have been seconds you know so he yeah. he definitely wants to step it up and try and get a win the other thing is Kevin Windham is only a few points behind uh, Hill in uh, that championship hunt for the you know top three but here's the interesting thing with Villapoto out these guys have a chance to finish yep. up second in the championship and uh, I'm sure there's bonuses for second in a championship but uh, you know you mentioned Brayton also Chad Reed you know uh, Chad Reed struggled I know he wasn't happy with the track last week and uh, you know he came away with the fifth but Chad Reed's got an opportunity to win some races here, but uh, I think all in all, if you're a betting man, you got to go with number 14, Kevin Windham here. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a crowd favorite, no doubt about it. Now, speaking of bonuses, there is still one big championship on the line. We haven't raced since February in our Lights West region. It's still up for grabs. It is, and uh, you know, the guy who's got to be the favorite coming in here is Trey Kennard. He sits second in the points, 14 points behind Weimer, but uh, Weimer's pretty smart over there at the uh, Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki team. Mitch Payton and everybody but he's saying, look, let's just get through this race here and see where we're at next weekend when we go into uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, you know, they're, they're not going to do anything stupid over there in that camp. But, uh, you know, uh, Kennard, he's just going to come out here and try to win these last two and see what happens. All right, that should be interesting to watch. A couple uh, news and notes. Ivan Tedesco's out. He also was injured last week like Villapoto. I believe they're going to switch Kyle uh, Cunningham up to a 450 to take his place. And Nick Way is back on Monster Kawasaki for the second time this year, now taking Villapoto's place. He did ride for Reed earlier. So lots happening here in Seattle. Stay tuned with us all day long here on supercrossonline.com for all the information.